This is the seventh episode of the RAF adventure. Attention gamers, previously on my journey to get a break from a game where I have to rely on teammates, oh I learned about group content in WoW and had to rely yep. on teammates. I rocked oh the biggest damage wiener on the charts with some guildies while others were challenging me in duels to the death which may or may not have just been fancy editing yeah. a normal duel that I won nonetheless. It was fake, Papa man. Soda blessed me with the Sword of a it Thousand Truths bow edition and I used it to become Rav the Avatar. Conquering okay. all four of the deadliest hardcore elements by myself with no help. Good job. To prove that I am him and he shall one day save the world of Warcraft. Alright. Episode 6. Apparently Wait, this is episode 7. Raph, you done goofed up. This is episode 7. Word hadn't yet spread that I defeated the demon of Duskwood as players were okay. still looking like they were about to shit themselves <laughs> on the road and despite me trying to calm their nerves I knew the best way to show them that Rav the Avatar could conquer all would be to smurf on the remaining elite quests in the area. Okay. More Ladam is the golden grave digging boner boy that has more people creating fresh level 1s in Elwyn than any time Gold starts a new character but he clearly didn't <laughs> know who he was up against so I let Howard introduce himself and then I promptly one shot the shitter. See, Howard has world buffs as well, I see. And so does Rav. Then some undead David kite. Blaine was apparently spooking couples in the bedroom of this house so I went up only to find out he was currently taking a meeting so I figured I would let these scrubs mm. build up their confidence by taking him down themselves before deciding that I deserve a little credit for at least being there. Wow, what a nice guy, But Rav. this is where I realized that the lore behind some of these quests is beyond fucked up place his own heart within the bosom of his dead spouse. So just to summarize this random quest, what? a psychopath somehow removed his own heart and shoved it up the asshole of his dead wife and now for some Wait. ungodly reason the people in town wanted What? I found the grave as Howard was like bro it smells <laughs> like ass here and I was like well according to the disturbing quest details that. means we are in the right place so I tickled the dirt hit a bit of parkour and then killed that freaky fetish bride. Wait, of... is that real? I mean, it, I, it said it in the quest, he shoved it up the rectum. The embalmer is, you know, no, he was kindly alchemist. He used dark magic to place his own heart within the rectum of his dead spouse. Digging through her dead colon to get her husband's heart was disgusting and Howard sure wasn't going to do it, but I knew okay, the townsmen so... would sleep better at night knowing I... Wait, so the embalmer's heart you loot from Elisa, you grab it out of her asshole? I had. What You've done it! Just to confirm this praise wasn't because I slayed the jizz stained final boss stitches <laughs> okay. plaguing their town. You have done a great thing for our people, adventurer. It was because I dug a dude's heart out of his dead wife's anus. Okay. Your name will remain in our annals forever. Anyways, it, I ran into a little gnome in whose name could describe my entire WoW documentary, but then I managed to get triggered by my first escort quest in the game. Please help! You see, oh, this God, douche this was clearly mad. having a case of the Mondays. I figured the dude would be eternally grateful that I you know saved his ass from being eaten by a tribe of mutated apes and literal alligators only for him to sucks. act like fucking Prince Harry being escorted into his daddy's coronation. I had some I choice you, words yeah. for him but the dude wanted no part in the mission to save his own life apparently and while being toxic towards an NPC may have not been NPC my proudest person. moment I felt he needed a taste of his own medicine. It was at this point where whoever wrote my leveling guide must have decided to phone it in one day since it was just like a yo fuck. Grind young sawtooth sorrow spinners and swamp jaggers until you're level 39. Dude, that. Could I don't know, go kill some shit for Just an hour and all the fastest levelers would have accepted this. Thrown some hentai on the second monitor and then grinded it out with a half chub for the next hour. Okay. I chose a different route. You see, there's a chapel in the big city where a priest has been entirely too happy to see me since I was a little boy. But in the basement, there's a dude dressed uh, like a hibachi chef who is all like, bro, your guide wants you to waste 45 here. minutes of your life killing beasts. Nah, I'll save you from that boredom. Just follow these steps. That is got a monastery. First, take a flight out of town down to that bay named after a literal ass. There I've arranged for you to take a transatlantic cruise. Don't make eye contact with the others on that boat as it's known to have some weirdos. What? Once you're there you will take another flight on the Kalimdor Airlines but this is classic WoW so there's no direct flights oh, to where you're so going annoying, so you'll man. connect through a town that's not exactly on the way. So there dumb. you'll meet my gay lover Anton and he will tell you about our old book club called the Scarlet Crusade and how we left because yep. of their obsession with bowling. He'll have you spend another 10 minutes walking through quite possibly the ugliest zone the in all of Azeroth experience. until you arrive for your designated skeletal slaughter. 
he'll be like there's one small catch I need you to kill 30 of these in a zone where only 6 spawn at a time so I hope you remember to twiddle your thumbs for a bit but once you do serve that snooze fest just run the 17 miles back up to me and enjoy the scenery that can best be described as if a microscope zoomed way into an infected sperm cell from a man ridden with AIDS. Okay listen at least Rav has the aspect of the cheetah man okay if you're a warrior here it is just pure misery. Make him happy and he'll be like dope now take another no direct flight back to that ratchet ass bay just in time to miss the next boat. Oh, when you arrive back to the boardwalk you'll just have one more super short flight to your last stop. <laughs> Stiff, <laughs> jet lagged and having already wasted more than the hour you would have spent killing beasts you'll get debriefed by a dude who is working on his cement driveway cosplay yep. transmog set. He will tell you that the next part of this gigantic waste of time is to find a group of people and that you'll hey, probably- Hey, it's not a waste of time, Rav, okay? Because it's about the journey, alright? Listen, you may have spent literally over an hour just flying around the world, but at least you got to experience different areas and different, you know, different zones within the game. Because that's what it's all about, right? Want to come full SM quick clear. He's found the strat. Just put, put like a copy, copy pasta and just spam everybody. We need to spam the entire server looking yep. for others, only to find a warrior who says he can't <laughs> tank with the plan to just not tell him that he's the tank while thinking to yourself, what's the worst that can happen? Um. Then you and your new group of butt buddies will need to spend another short 20 minutes walking <laughs> through a dangerous zone, okay. sneaking around the back of horde capital cities and parkouring in ways that not everyone can keep up with. Oh god. And after Some close to two hours, you will arrive at the most corrupt book club in all of the eastern kingdoms. Yep. Truly one of the most corrupt book clubs of all time. Now I quickly learned that this is actually four dungeons baked into one. Yep. The first featured torturers with suffering victims who were in desperate need of Rav the Avatar to be their hero, by killing everyone including them. Whoopsie! The Hunger Games Game oh. Master was informing us to they GTFO so after we finished the first of four we decided to wait until 11 to start the second. Except everyone else decided Wait. to go in at 10.59 because reading clocks is apparently rocket science now and this resulted in my getting stuck in a different lock out of the instance <laughs> than all of them. Anyways okay. the butt buddies who left the book club said there were a few drama queens who needed killed and the first was the pet lover in the group. The he looked intimidating but they told me the weird that things he hard. does with those hounds and a jar of peanut butter at night so I wasn't concerned. What? Then there was Arcanist Douche Canoe who is a tank and spank outside of when he cast game, Detonate and you need to get out ASAP and it turns out having RP walk toggled on isn't ideal so I may or may not harsh. have fucked around and found out. Now small detour from this gripping book club drama storyline I should mention that I met a certified baddie in the Forge of Iron who said that rumor is this particular library has a copy of the Kama Sutra and I quote Bring it to me, and perhaps together we can unlock the secret So obviously okay. there was some incentive for me to find it while I was there yeah, us baby. To us. Yeah. The third dungeon was basically 47 hallways of Scarlet Simps that yep. all look the exact same and after 30 minutes of that you face Herod who Hera. has two phases the first is a tank and spank and the second is After he dies all the fraternity pledges oh, come rushing and showing how useless they are and then we enter the final and most deadly of the four dungeons, the cathedral. Oh, this shit. is where Howard started to feel the repercussions of me telling a warrior he didn't have to tank while actually relying on him to tank. Oh, no. And our group's rogue was about to learn a very real lesson to not yeah, joke about like Howard's life. Wait, what? You see we made it to the final church where all these devout simps were saying their prayers to the big dog in charge, all ready to run at anyone who challenges his authority, of deciding what the next book everyone will be reading is. And while this Fucked coup against the crusade had been as smooth as a Riz Masters pickup lineup until this point, things were about to take a messy turn. Infidels. They must be oh, purified! Tickling the captain's toes triggered the fire alarms and over 30 oh, simps were now shit. on their way. The Baconomics pulled! Care boss out I looked out, back knowing that this would be the last time I ever saw our healer alive. The oh, Crusade demanded shit. more casualties and my tank who didn't think he was my tank was in line to be next. I the prepped a last ditch target oh, dummy knowing it wouldn't do shit but I wasn't the only only Fangs member thinking on their feet and Patty managed to spare his life. Okay! I mean, it we was paid our respects pulled. to our fallen comrade and vouched to avenge his death. Economics. The only issue was we now had no healer, a fake tank, and two people who didn't know this fight. Oh shit, but the rope can tank. Ok, 
Okay. There's the Milady. <coughs> okay. Oh shoot, and here comes phase two. Arise, my champion. Oh damn. The music. And they're doing this with four people only. Holy. Like we're just pumping into the divine shield. Damn it, the paladin off healing. Yeah, the heater died. Good job. Not bad, I Rav. went back to Cement Covered Sammy to tell him that that drama-filled book club is no more. So in summary, instead of grinding mobs for 45 minutes, I spent 7 hours traveling the world, <laughs> engaging in petty seven high school hours. drama, and getting another player killed, all to accomplish the same amount of progress on my yep. journey to 60 and that, my friends, is what it's like to play World of Warcraft. <laughs> It truly is an amazing game. How you can turn 45 minutes of content into 7 hours, baby. What a good episode, man. I like it. It's fun watching these uh, these rap leveling episodes, man. Why League of Legends players shouldn't play hardcore WoW. This is the episode 8 of the RAF uh, journey. Gamers, previously on my decision to take a break from a game that I felt was wasting too much of my time, Okay. I spent seven hours of my life accomplishing oh almost nothing as I took countless non-direct flights, walked slowly yep. through zones that looked like infected jizz puddles, and killed a totally what? appropriate amount of Halloween decorations just so I could unlock a single quest that had zero rewards that were of use to my character. Yep. I popped my Scarlet Monastery That's Cherry where you. we pissed off the leader in front of his simps and my healer died as a result, <laughs> all because I didn't want to spend 45 minutes grinding mobs. Rab's turning to 80. Turns so out 80. the death I witnessed in my dungeon had jack shit on the sadness of another death from our guild. Ooh. A level 60 warrior fell victim to the principle of classic WoW oh. known as stupid shit and after watching the clip 600 times I eventually figured out what happened. They were fighting a pack of gangrene ridden bald diabetics roach? when he rushed in and shouted something that weakens them. Yeah, A little the law abiding roach. citizen cockroach fell victim to this shout, got pissed off and decided to quietly run off and tell the big man in charge. Dude. An end game boss gets aggroed and starts throwing slaps like he's an alcoholic stepfather. What? <laughs> Two more swollen sumo wrestlers in body armor spawn and their healer gets erased. He uses his potion of Petri in an attempt to freeze and hope they stop attacking him but the timing is more out of sync than a symphony yeah. with a fully deaf string quartet so two months of work get ruined in a fraction of a second and in my brief time learning more about the streaming Dude. world all I can say is, oh seven 7 or something. Oh, I, on the other hand, something. was living my best life. Okay. I celebrated my 40th birthday, which outside of hitting level cap is the biggest leveling achievement Ooh, in the game. Shoot. The days of walking like Mount a peasant time. were behind me as I would join the ranks of she who rides steeds. It God was damn. also at this point where we learned how to channel Howard's anger issues into a productive forum. My oh, sensei in the Forge wrath. of Irons gave me a confusing speech about wolf packs. Wait, sorry, I tend to think of myself as a one-man wolf pack. And now I know what? for sure, I just added two more guys to my wolf <laughs> pack. But this finally okay. gave me the tools to grief shitters that I don't like and blame it on others. For example, I could add Howard to my wolf pack and then watch and laugh as he is Bro, permanently dazed rap. trying to escape someone who is actively finger popping his asshole. Honestly, the amount of people that actually grieve with the aspect of the pack though, I have seen countless of deaths because of Hunter for getting pack. Oh. 40 is also apparently the age when I get my dad bod strength and can function in heavy male armor which meant Ooh. the days of me wearing a condom on my head were over. Then I got to take a trip down <laughs> memory lane, through Narnia's okay. asshole where I first met Howard Aww. as I thought to myself look how far he's come. What are you doing, step bro? Uh. But most importantly it was time for me to stick it to those fuckers at Ford and buy me a RAM. Okay. Now these are expensive and hardly anyone can afford them right when they turn 40 so you are probably so thinking he is just a spoiled shit with streamer benefits but yeah. let me explain why that's not the case. Okay. I used an investment strategy where someone told me at a young age if I invest my money in the hot Hot men bank. Men bank then it will double each time it's returned. I had no market data on this bank's performance and nothing to trust so what? I started with small amounts, 
gaining more confidence and risk tolerance in my investments until I put in the final contribution that would grow tax-free into the amount of Today's bankroll Apex Legends Rich Minion I count money no 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 I count money no 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 I would need to buy my furry vehicle but when I put my whole net worth on the line the investment never came back Oh he got scammed. So I resorted to getting fat handouts and a shady scammed. dive in Booty Bay smoking cigars with the little wizard like we were the Tate brothers of Azeroth <laughs> Wait, what? And then my investment also came back so yeah I could pay Wait, for this scammed. shit in cash I named my ram Rebecca oh, and together shit. with Howard, we would be the sexiest threesome in the world, of Warcraft. It was now time to go back to wasting time as my next objective okay. was apparently to get pissed off at Blizzard. Some unpaid intern in 2004 must have been like alright we're going oh, to add patrolling yeah. anorexic male men in the game, have her tiptoe around somewhere in the vicinity so of this entire galaxy, and have an entire quest chain reliant on you fucking finding her so you can steal some love letter she's holding. Yep. I tried using random abilities I found in my spell book but I knew this was doomed and after close to 90 minutes of pain and suffering, 90? I still couldn't find the shit stain. At one point I thought I hit the- My man spent 90 minutes trying to do one quest. Jackpot only to realize those were just the elite guards that took a bloody piss on one of my guildies and then on my 17th lap after crop dusting a human mage with Rebecca's stench she told me that I was about to run into her and her pack of butt buddies. Ooh. Except it she for some ungodly reason called in sick to this particular parade. Okay. Wait, what? Like many other things in classic WoW this turned into a goddamn research project for me as I figured I would just camp out at her spawn point until the bony male man yep. shows up for her that's next the, shift and as I got close I heard this. Which I'm conditioned like a dog to no means the mob I've been searching for since I was a wee little lad is near and marked as a moon but I couldn't see it anywhere so I deployed 500 IQ strats to send Howard in like a bloodhound only for him to stop like an insubordinate swine. What? Turns out I got classic wowed and the mob that just spawned decided to disappear. My strategy now turned into killing every last Hulk cosplaying ogre hoping that they are boys with the male man and she'll have to come out to stop their genocide. Mm -hmm. I even met a tall sexy ass elf on the shelf who was also looking to punch that evasive UPS driver in the cooter so I figured I would exploit what? him for his kindness tell him I'm looking up the quest details but really I was full blown AFK letting him do work for me thinking I just hacked the leveling system and there was no way this could backfire. That's a, a classic. Few moments later. Yep. But he's gonna spawn right in front of him, though. A Howard will save him. Oh, he doesn't have Howard on defensive. Oh! My AFK arrogance was going to be the end of me as while I was jerking off in the bathroom, oh, my no. character was getting his ass kicked in. Howard was feeling too passive to defend me and my only shot of survival was now this good Samaritan who wasn't looking too hot himself. Oh, that's bad. The ogre was enraging my health was dropping and I was about to have the most depressing post nut oh, clarity bad. in my life when I returned to my computer but then. Oh! The champion with 10% health! No way! The pot coming off! What a chat! Not even close I told him the whole thing was totally a prank to test his loyalty and then I rewarded him handsomely for his efforts. <laughs> Anyways after 2 hours with the mailman still playing hooky I said fuck it no joined way. up with some guildies to hit the downs of Razorfin and after seeing the bullshit way our comrade Wait, passed- Wait so he just spent a solid like almost 3 hours for that just to like end up quitting it and just going for a dungeon instead. Okay. Just away earlier. I gave myself one job throughout this entire dungeon. Kill all the rats. And you may yeah. laugh, but here you see that same bullshit could have happened if I didn't shoot the little fucking rodent in his gossip spreading grapevine head and Actually thanks true. to my mechanics we smurfed on that shit and I got this cotton ball looking stat stick as a reward. Ooh. I then had to venture into some ginger pube bush desert and quickly learned that it's not called the good lands for a few reasons. There's giant posses of weaponized sumo wrestlers who hang oh, out in packs of like 12. One of Dumbledore's left nuts followed me around for six years wanting me to volunteer as tribute to his own virginity hosted fully trinketed Hunger okay, Games. The dude. zone's nickname is the Dust Bowl probably because you Can miss you every the attack. Left side? Listen, I can, sure. I'll be left side. Because if your eyeballs just deep throated a bucket of sand and the quest details sounded a hell of a lot like the breakup All speech the my high meter. school girlfriend gave me when she wanted to start dating seniors instead. Their bodies are stronger and larger, and therefore more prone to having pieces large enough for my tests. Wait, what? 
<laughs> wait, so naturally, wait, I had wait. to get out of there and switch things up. Can I have gold for my mount? Can Thanks. I have gold for my mount? Thanks, guys. Ra of course, it's Grayson. Of course, it's Grayson. Have once gold for the mount. Um, I just got one question. And how much gold? Does Rav deserve gold, guys? I need 80 gold. Oh my god, bro. You might have to do uh, some begging for some of it. That's what I'm doing now. Good point. Yeah, like a real if streamer. You can make it out here in five minutes, I will make it 50 gold. What? Stopwatch started. I can't make will that. Make Graceless it? and Stranglethorn. No? Aspect of the cheetah. <laughs> Yeah, he's in the cursing Aspect cave. Aspect of the cheetah. He can make it. Ooh. Right? But he doesn't have Aspect of the cheetah. Wait, he said I'll even get my last giblet. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, my God. That is some fucking... That is cocky. Three and a half minutes. Can he actually make it out here? Holy shit. Wait, is Rav role-playing not having a mount so he can scam Grayson out of 50 gold? Nine, eight, seven. Is that six, what's going on right now? Five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. Oh my god. He just scammed Grayson. That was. That was pretty. That was pretty, like, on point there. Truly, Wait. should we have had. Your chat dumb. It's five. Disgusting. Turning off your stream. Now, I can't have this parasocial mumbling audio in my recordings. <laughs> so we had to open up trade? Maybe. He just mounts up at least. He got scammed. Did he just mount? What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? <laughs> Is this a joke? Easy. I'll go over here. What? Easy, Grayson. There's no fucking way. There ain't no fucking way. Of course it's Grayson getting ain't scammed. No fucking way. This little bitch mounted? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> nice mount. Did you just He just left? He just logged off. <laughs> And after crushing that first impression, I had to meet up with a few other guildies. The proverbial big shot warriors and my presence in this run wasn't going to go unnoticed. Rav is pumping? going melee. Okay, you see his offhand? Dude, is Rav just out to like get all the streamers at this point? No, what, wait, what is this guy doing? I'm so sad He's I He's very proud this. of his kill. <laughs> Dude, that's actually so badass. Like, He's throwing <laughs> Let's oh, go, shit. Rev! <laughs> Did you guys pet Howard or no? Aspect of the pack, by the way! <laughs> Easy. Glad you could join us, Rev. They also didn't notice that I needed on every single piece of gear that dropped that entire run, but when it came Dude, time- all the streamers have like thousands of gold anyway. Of course they're not noticing it. For the final boss, things got serious. Alright, we're doing this old style. Careful. I don't even know this guy's mechanics, but I'm sundering. Okay. A lot of Watch mobs. out for the ads. I taunted it. All right, we got yeah, five. Worry, We're guys. getting the big sunders here. Yep. Is he actually just? Oh shit! <laughs> Kill these ads instantly. Shot out, <laughs> AOE shout after that usually. If you have retail, like taunt and then mocking blow and then AOE. Got them, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I don't have taunt. I don't have taunt. They're stressing retail, out. Mocking blow. What else did you say? Hey, we shot on any of that bound. It's a lot of ads. You guys are, you guys are the fucking tanks. Hello? Target dummy this. <laughs> oh, maybe a little uh, explosive trap? Execute phase. Whoa. Got them. Good we job. defeated Lord Stone Tits only for him to drop a Gigabis item for warriors. God damn! Oh, that's, that's huge. Wait, I actually, guys, I need that. I need that too. As well as idiots playing Hunter. And while the ethical thing to do would be to pass on this, I clearly wasn't making a big enough name for myself. Who is Rav? I don't know who this is. And lessons had to be learned. Oh, what the fuck? Did he use ninja all that? He did. Uh. <laughs> I passed on it. We were talking about something else here. Um, bro? <laughs>
<laughs> dude the rev this series is good man i like it he has really nice like funny storytelling i think it's a really 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 uh oh i left it I, I think the storytelling is really really fun on it I, I i like these videos a lot man rav's journey to 60 episode 9. attention gamers Previously on my attempt to stop holding L's by catching a few dubs I dinged 40 okay. and with the help of streamer benefits bought me a ram that I named Rebecca, I oh. wasted an entire day of my life on a single quest where I almost died while being AFK. I yep. proved that I'm ready for endgame dungeons before scamming a guildie with a weird kink oh, for bald yeah. people. Wait, go I met up guys. with three of the biggest dick slingers in the guild to do a dungeon <sighs> to which I found my own way to contribute as we killed the final he boss bumped. and I took interest in a ring that had zero value to me as a hunter. <laughs> Avenging the Psych I passed fangs. on the warrior's purity ring the last thing I want to be called as a ninja as my plan is to be a uh -huh. team player in this guild and I was about to prove this by avenging the deaths of my guildies. What? Okay. Wait, that's Imaru, Fandy, Miskiv, and... Who, who's, the, who's the last guy there? Above the, 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 the thing. Cory? Oh, it's Cory. Okay, okay, okay. The first death can best be summarized by this clip that I took wildly out of context. I ran in there, pulled everything on purpose, oh, said we're no, fine, and the... then we died. She died. Turns out she wasn't streaming, so you had to witness her demise from the POV of the kid who clearly Shit. missed when it came to his decision to attempt this quest and considering the top of this boat looked like a Jack Sparrow cosplay contest while yep. he and the third they pulled out of Hogwarts daycare were struggling to appear threatening. Oh no, you're gonna die, you're gonna die! The healer got so the aggro which well. turned into this. I, 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 I... No! Dad was less than happy to hear the news. Dad? I am... No, 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 no. I haven't oh. even seen the footage. I haven't even seen the death. And what I took from the conversation <laughs> okay. is that this particular quest is too deadly to attempt on hardcore and should be skipped. Dumb, extremely risky quest. Everyone's warning you about this quest and you Why still you? do it. I tell you to calm down. You're going crazy. So naturally, this was the next quest I wanted to do. Okay. But with the plan to apply the lessons from Soda's rage like when a random normie asked to group I remembered. You don't know who it is. You don't know this mage. You understand the difference between a stupid f and a good player? And politely oh. told him to piss off only to learn Can't not 15 trusted. seconds later why grouping with that shit stain indeed would have been a mistake. Oh, no Anyways, shot. the quest clearly says this. Take some of your most skilled comrades. So I'm not sure why Emmy chose to bring this when she heard that, but oh, I was going to bring easy. someone else. Okay. Aussie born. Oh, shoot. That's the Aussie guild's Pulse, rogue tank Mr. Ozzy, a dear friend of mine and Howard's and together we were going to avenge the death and after the warning signs Dumb, extremely risky quest I knew we'd have to be clean with the kills uh, The first boat I went down looking for Amber Heard put a trap down and then said Hey I have a large net worth and like to get drunk knowing the bait would work as I posted up and just waited for her to come out wanting to sue me It worked like a charm and our flawless execution was going to bring us to the captain Who was already Shit. fucking dead so we opted into waiting in a small room in the middle of a ship where 17 mobs can respawn at any time while we idea. wait for Captain Barbosa to get back from the store with the milk only to be greeted with S Wait Surprise come- wait I can- You like finishing guys off, got it What is that conversation that they were having? Okay, you know Third what? degree burns and a hunter hitting him with the first person POV while his butt buddy was making a better door than a window and with that the first of three was down. Yep. But as we approached the second ship, we ran into one of those bestiality fetish sex elves who wanted to join. And you don't know who the f this person is. That's a no for me, dog. Sorry, so does orders. And sure enough, she quickly proved to have a room temperature IQ when she invited half the boat out of their quarters to kick oh, her ass, shoot. which I thought was hilarious until they all decided I would be the consolation prize. You got to bait it. I then figured trusted. I would show her how to properly do this pull, and I think by Ozzy's reaction, I nailed the execution. One. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Lots, lots, lots. We That's had a, a dog fight on our hands this time, and I decided I'd rather bring this party onto dry land where there is potential for even more that mobs. Hurts a lot. I played a quick game of follow the iron grenading leader, then I shoved a tide pot up Howard's asshole and told him to bite the cosplaying cow, but there were too many, so I had to play dead on Damn. TV, let them give my rogue tank some attention, and wither them down one by one. Okay. Respected. When I saw the second captain, I couldn't hold back my inner 12 year old and asked him what the difference between a goblin and a gremlin were, but he died before I could what? tell him the punchline. 
What? Now for the record the proper way to execute this pull would be to request a private meeting with two of them before talking to the rest of the family then put one over ice while you deal with the second and it'll be the cleanest double homicide on this side of the eastern kingdoms Easy. but I chose a different approach. Oh he's doing the... <laughs> okay. The, the good old... <laughs> the good old Howard Strat. I failed to account for how hard it is to resist petting Howard so the entire extended family came rushing out which resulted in a brief scare for Mr. Osborne but we did it okay. and were ready to face the last and most deadly captain we'd ever seen. The gnome. Hey, my, you're a tall one. I debated showing that Emmy died to the army who reports to this knee nibbling garden gnome and even though we both laughed at this little cake topper somehow like reaching the, the top of the blood cell totem pole. We had a mission and that was to teabag he who killed Emmy before parting ways until the next time. Okay. Fandy's death was next and this one was less a matter of in-game danger but rather a combination of external factors. She was going on her 10th straight hour of streaming like that a game this. that's been the same for 20 years, cool. likely tired and invested into something dank on her second monitor. And the Wait, duo the she fuck? invited to her party was also tabbed out checking if this was the same Fandy he watches on a different site late at night while doing the five knuckle shuffle on the old piss pump and the combination of neither of them fully paying attention proved to be a lesson on how quick it can all end. Mm. I went to that same yep. bloody anus of a zone knowing that avenging this death would be much easier for me since I was yep. neither sleep deprived like Fandy or jerking off like the hunter in her group as I started the escort and everything was going okay, that's not funny, man. I... <laughs> that's not funny, dude. Some asshole threw some heat Howard's way and had to pay the price but that was the only action at Fandy's funeral site. Okay. That said, for those of you on your seats wondering how the rest of this quest goes you help the dude deal with his crippling arachnophobia. He complains about his asthma and then shows you where his old 9 to 5 yep. was as if you give a shit. Turns out his old co-workers thought he was a cocksucker and then after 15 minutes of escorting him. this short dude that didn't shut up once he flat out gets JFK right in front of your face. Okay. So you loot his inheritance and that's it. That's Ms. Kit's death had me feeling less sad but rather more mad. Mad at myself oh, for not betting the other one. guildies more gold that he would die within 24 hours of having to play on his own and the lesson <laughs> to be learned here is that these mechanical chickens are not to be fucked with because for some yeah, ungodly this, reason there are large groups of yetis bad. who advocate against their release. He had more than one opportunity to just piss off and live to yeah. fight another day but with the ongoing recession I get that times are tough and he was undoubtedly understaffed in the thinking department that night so in a series of unfortunate events that can be summarized as guy does really dumb shit he joined emmy and going back to elwin this admittedly was, was not a quest i should have tried to avenge solo but as rav the avatar he uh, who is committed to showing the guild that he has their backs and that he's better than ms kiff at the game uh, i had to do it okay i knew that a threesome with a few yetis would spawn soon so the strategy was to clear the area uh, first but this ended up backfiring in a big way as my timing was worse than a broken metronome Ooh. I told Howard he's got to deal with one of the big guys while I let the other two slap around my metal cock but I had to deal with Harambe over here spitting in my face. Yeah, that's bad. I wanted Howard to peel but I knew that chicken was almost dead so no boar or bomb was spared in getting them off. I, like I had to fake my own death so that I could survive to tell people that Bigfoot does exist and he and his brothers tried to put me in a box okay. as the first wave in this shit fest of an escort was over. Good job Rav. Good job. I had a feeling more were coming but just to show how proper preparation prevents poor performance, the next orgy I had was smoother than an oiled tit as what? we blew up monkey numero uno, told the second to chill out while I backed up to the three point line and went full blown Cincinnati zoo on his brother and with that, the second wave was complete. Damn. The third and final wave would be a different story however, four, this uh, time there were four and despite trying to execute the same game plan, I managed to fail the quest almost immediately for some ungodly reason. After a certified Wait. fuck fest for me to kill the, the four pack died. I went back to the footage to realize that my pussy ass piece of poultry just <laughs> kept running while I was fighting off the entire Wait. county so he could escape. I ran all the- Oh so the chicken ran away while he was doing it, it actually didn't get aggro. Way back just in time to see someone else run off with my girl as if oh, I didn't reserve no. this retry so I left the cave and acted like I didn't care what Rip went down on their date so, only to yeah. immediately whip out my binoculars to watch this chode pally fail. Sure enough he was in camp Miss Kiff on this one as this was clearly doomed. Oh you could see him God, running right. back to me trying to ask for help but I was like nah brah if I wanted to hear from an asshole I'd fart as I just waited for the chicken to die as my cue to haul ass back and nab me the next round. What the fuck? 
I smurfed on the first two packs but this time I was prepared for that cock to see the finish line and bust okay. his nut too early once again. We like seeing the finish line with the cock. Let's sure go. enough that dumb shit rooster is oblivious to the world around him once Wait, again what? so I need to literally show these rabbits tramp stamping my anus right in front of his beak to get him to just wait for the rabbitar to do okay. his job. One. Two. Three. Yeah, let's go Rav. Four. And after a less than coordinated quadra kill, I told him off then walked him down the hill and with that Miss Kiff was avenged. Easy. The, the last death one. came early on in only fangs as Cory the guy was the first high level in the guild. Oh, remember this clip! Oh, shoot! To meet his demise when he attempted something that I quote. Yeah, this looks safe. Zanzel the outcast is oh, a no. seemingly harmless troll but he sticks a twig in the ground yeah. that has more skeletons coming out than a gay bar's Halloween party so oh, while he drops, did yeah. kill the main guy. The extended family of that troll's butt buddies ended his journey. I'm actually dead. They can't swim though. Yeah, I'm actually dead. God damn Corey. I knew that avenging this particular death would not be enough on its own and I would have to use it to send a message to the world okay. of Warcraft in my own patented Rav the Avatar way. Oh shit, is he taking off all his gear? Oh, he's going naked! God, and a throwing axe. No shot. Look at Rav! He's just not gonna make sure he kills the totem though, right? If the totem dies, then he's fine. Yeah, focus that totem. Good shit, Rav. There we go, dude. Kinda a little bit shitting on Cory, man. He's just showing, yeah, look, look what I could do naked with throwing axes, what you died to, by the way. <laughs> so to the roaches in Asmongold's cancer pit of a Twitch simp guild, if your guildy isn't Wait. willing to avenge your death by butt naked brawling a dangerous mob with a thrown weapon, is that truly a guild you are proud to be in? Oh shit, I, that was a good video, I like this one. It's funny following uh, Rav's journey, man, it really is, dude. If this series isn't doesn't get a million to content or started, then I don't know what the blitz more. I felt it's worth I just read nothing, didn't I? Regardless though, it's a good series, okay? It's gold content.